everyone, since I recently posted a video of me dressing my dolls for the holidays, I decided to actually do a video on what specifically they were wearing. Let's start off with what Quinn is wearing. So Quinn has a rose printed dress with black lining and a black belt that I made myself. And we're just going to go and show you the skirt here. And it's really pretty. Um, it was sort of inspired off of Samantha's dress. But it's more modern because it also has a um, fringe at the bottom. And I'm going to show you the back of it because the back is pretty I'm just going to move her hair out of the way and show you. Um, the back is where there's a big bow to cover up the seam. And there is also snaps on these little things that go across, I think. I don't know what you would call them, but that's where it closes in the back because... I, th I like snaps better than Velcro, and also I don't have any Velcro, so yeah. And I made this dress, if you were wondering. And she also is just wearing some hearts, some tights with hearts, and Mary Jane's from Ruthie's Meat House. For April, she is wearing an Our Generation dress that came with um, an Our Generation doll that I had. So it is a satin dress, I guess, and it is around the top, and it has polka dots on the bottom. It's nothing special. It used to have a belt going around it, but that just got, it came off because I had that Our Generation doll even before I had Ruthie, and I had Ruthie in 2010, so I don't own any pieces of that doll anymore. And then she just has some cream colored tights, and those are also from Our Generation, and I don't have any shoes to match her outfit, so I'm going to have to get some. Ruthie is also wearing a dress that I made. Her dress has just, it's not really, it's like thick spaghetti straps. But it has straps in the back, and I'll show you those later. And the top is a velvet material, and it's pinched in at the top. It's kind of uneven, but I don't really care. Then I got this little brooch thingy, majority pin, at a garage sale, and I thought it was really pretty, and it matched with the dress. The skirt has seven layers of tulle. I don't know how I know that it has seven, I just do. And it, um, alter it has black tulle on the top, and then three layers of the silver tool, and it looks really pretty. She has black tights that are from Michaels, and little flats that are silver with little bows. This one is sort of coming off, but I'm hot glue it. And in the back, it's nothing special. It's just, I'll show you the back. I'm here, let me show you. This is, in the back, there are just snaps as well I just like I wanted to have a dress with different materials and I really like this dress too I like this one better than the other one because it's just very fancy Finally, we have Kit well as you saw in my dress my dolls video Kit didn't want to wear a dress so we made some exceptions from her for her so Kit just has her hair down and she has um, her Christmas ear piercings in there red and green she has a Santa hat on from American Girl, and this is like my favorite Christmas thing. It's so cute. Then she has a knitted scarf with um, a little pattern at the bottom from Build-A-Bear. That's why it goes all the way down to her legs. And she has a, this used to be a Dolly and Me thing. Well, it, it is, but I don't have the other version anymore because i probably too small, and also I just don't want to wear it. But it's really soft, and it has little penguins on it. And yeah, it has no shoes. That is my doll's outfit for the week for the holidays. And I am. this is my fifth day of uploading for a week, so I only have um, three more days left. I'm sorry, guys, but then I'm going to take a big break. But thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>